Chris on Columbia. Go ahead, Columbia. Uh, good morning, Bill. Uh, you are welcome into the cabin if you want. Oh, good morning, Maurizio. Thank you. We'll uh, try to set that up. Roger. And uh, thanks, Maurizio. Uh, we do have live TV uh, into the cabin. Copy. Uh, Columbia, I would like to give you a brief summary of uh, what's happened since the DDCS came back online. Uh, each of the experiments have ground commanded uh, their own uh, checkouts and verifications. You may have noticed uh, uh, currently SETS 3 Bravo has just ended. Uh, we do have times for the SETS FO4 Alpha and 4 Bravo when you're ready to copy. Message 26, we show is on board now. That'll give you a timeline uh, up until the point that you enter a uh, nominal deploy timeline on page uh, 318. That does assume that we will deploy on time. It's going to meet with uh, Dick Richards over there. Uh, Lee will be here. And MCC will conference with Dick Richards over in Marshall about 20 minutes from now. The MMT here will meet about two hours from now and give us a decision on whether to deploy on time or not. The encoder problem we will take another look at uh, during uh, the DAC uh, power cycle and during boom extension. Clearly, uh, payload communications is the problem that we're working. That's the primary, the only problem that leads into whether or not to deploy on time. We do plan to do a smart flex a dump later. We are working up a matrix to cover uh, what happens if there is a core swap or a uh, during a deploy or a warm start during deploy and flyaway procedure, so that'll cover the uh, quick responses. We're also uh, studying very hard. We're coming up with a plan to cover a uh, one day late deploy. I think that's what we have for right now. Okay, Story, thanks for those good words, and uh, we'll go down and get that message. Okay. Well, I'm a minute after the tenuous LOS. We'll be back at 17 hours, two minutes. Okay, story. See you then. You can come in uh, the flight deck. Okay, we are on board the flight deck. Thank you. I'm Rizio. Looks like a uh, coffee grinder, Jeff. 
Actually, uh, this is what we use to give eye exams. In, uh, Columbia, okay, Columbia, uh, the MMT has decided to delay the TSS deploy for 24 hours. That will allow us to get more confidence in uh, payload communications and in the uh, smart flex. It will also allow the scientists to catch up more on their science, which was delayed due to those payload communications problems. Your mission has been extended an additional day to get USMP all their data, so you're now a 15-day mission. Pre-flight, uh, it had been looked into, and maybe you were expecting to do it, orbit adjust burns if we uh, slipped, but there will be no orbit adjust burns. We will take whatever overflights that we get we're planning on around 22 hours and 15 minutes. We'll pick up with a deploy minus 24 hour timeline. We'll be phasing into that ourselves and uh, Marshall. Do not do, as per your updated flight plan at 19 hours and 15 minutes, do not perform that, dower, that DACA power cycle or the DACA profile update. We will plan on doing the IMU alignment at uh, 20 hours and 25 minutes. We'll also be planning to do the supply waste water dump at 20 hours and 45 minutes. We will plan to have uh, the PMC, if that fits with you, at 19 hours and 25 minutes. Okay, story, uh, I copy it all and uh, understand uh, the PMC at 1925 is fine. Uh, and as far as our flight plan goes, uh, do you want us to go back uh, and just run the flight plan uh, with a 24-hour delay, or are you going to send up a new flight plan for us? We are working those details, but we're planning on picking up uh, deploy minus 24 hour timeline at around 22 hours and 15 minutes. We are working those details right now. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, sir. And we're on the flight deck now. Okay, good morning. Good morning.
Columbia for KCA Panem. Okay, sir. Yeah, sorry, it takes so long to get back to you. The folks that uh, are concerned with that have been reworking your flight plan. When you update the SPOC, that data has got to be coming from an A colon backslash uplink directory. So you've got a floppy there which has got that directory, or you can simply uh, take a floppy and uh, make that directory on it. But the Spock update has got to come from an A colon backslash uplink directory. Okay, um, that's what I tried last night. This morning I did something a little bit different, but let me try it again and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so all the spot files need to come from that directory. That's where it's going to look. Okay, and that's what I was doing, and I thought I was putting it on our uh, the drive, the flop that we have that says Panam on it. And uh, so I understand uh, that those folks are real busy, so there's not a real big time crunch on all of this, uh, just when they can. And I'll let you know how it works. I'll try it again. Okay. And uh, continuing on with camera B there, that's a nice shot just going over some of the clouds uh, in the uh, Pacific. Oh, yeah, the uh, the white of the water plays really well with the white of the clouds. It's almost like a snowstorm in space. Yeah, it sure does. Also, a nice shot of the Terminator, too.